Werner Schmidt, an architect with unconventional ideas, and his latest project. Einführung in die Strohbautechnik. An introduction into the technique of building with straw. Werner Schmidt is showing the architecture and construction students of the University of Applied Science in Chur, Switzerland, how to do it. The primary material for construction is bales of straw, 2.5 meters long, 70 centimeters high and 1.2 meters thick. And that's how thick the walls of the holiday home are that Werner Schmidt is building in die Centers in Graubünden. The choice of straw as the main building material has mainly to do with the energy-saving properties of it. People deciding on straw as their main building material don't need heating. The principle behind this idea is that the house is extremely well insulated. The energy production that's happening inside the building, say cooking, washing, lighting and even your own body heat, all this would shed between 60 to 80 watts of energy. Add the sun to that and you have enough to keep the temperature in the house constant. How can you regulate the temperature though? In the summer, isn't it like a sauna? No, quite the contrary. Shade is playing a major role. In the front of the house, the roof is 2.5 meters longer. So in summer, when the sun is higher, the house has enough shade. Additionally, we're putting in ventilation at the bottom of the house. And in terms of the overall costs of the house, it's comparatively cheap. For the whole building, including a living area of 120 square meters, the clients pay 350,000 Swiss francs. And even better, a house like this is built very quickly. In only five days, the majority is built. Not all questions related to the house have a negative feeling about them, but looking at the house and seeing that the wooden ceiling is being held in place only by straw, the question arises whether the house won't gradually end up tilting. It is very important to ensure that all straw bales have been produced on the same day, with the same machine. All the bales have to be made under the same pressure, to reach the same density, to ensure that only slight differences occur. In the coming weeks, the house will settle by approximately 5 to 10 centimeters. And considering the straw, how high is the risk of fire? 50 centimeters of straw wall, plastered from both sides, are equivalent to F90, meaning a fire resistance of 90 minutes. It's nearly like 20 centimeters of concrete. It's simply the fact that no air gets in between. Try to set fire to a telephone book. You won't be successful setting it on fire as it is, but you'll have to tear the pages out. It works well because it's an airtight space. But when you touch and see it, you get the feeling that it might rot fairly soon. On top of this will be the grid, which then will have the plaster on top of it. The straw will be held in place by the grid and plaster. It will be able to breathe. The whole thing is very compact. There are houses, the oldest one was built in 1895, or others in America that have been built in 1900, and they are still being used. The fact that architecture lecturer Christian Wagner is interested in Schmidt's house is a sign that it's not just an eccentric idea. Every concept that Werner realizes is a bit different. You get surprised each time you see his new ideas. Werner Schmidt's goal is to build a house that is totally self-sufficient from an energy standpoint. The straw bale building is one step towards it.